I want to take a few minutes and clear up any questions that you may have regarding an email that you received from us a few days ago that looks something like this. We began to use a new piece of software called Adapar. Adapar helps to consolidate all of our client accounts, positions, holdings, and it also helps us to generate reports and rates of returns for our clients. One of the benefits of Adapar is that it provides a client portal so that you can see all of your holdings in one location at any point in time. This email that you received a few days ago will take you to a screen to be able to change your password for the portal. One key feature with Adapar though is that they recommend you use Google Chrome as your browser. So if you're using Internet Explorer or Safari, we'd encourage you to download Google Chrome in order to set up your new account. From there, you can click the View Portal button in the middle of the screen. After clicking on the link in the email, you'll be taken to a screen where you will need to create a new password from Adapar. They'll ask you to type it in twice just to confirm it's correct. Go ahead and set your new password, and then click the Set Password button down at the bottom of the screen. After setting your new password, you'll be taken to a screen that will ask for your email. This, your email address will serve as your username for Adapar. This will be the email that you received the welcome email to a few days ago. Go ahead and type in the new password that you just created and click Sign In. Adapar will then ask you to take a look at their terms of service. Go ahead and click Accept. We'll see a screen that looks something like this with a chart at the top that shows your portfolio values over time and down below you'll be able to see all of your holdings broken out by account. A couple of the key features here on the left you'll be able to change the view so you'll be able to take a look at different views take some time and explore those we might create some additional videos to give you some more detail on those also at the top notice the date range so if you'd like to look at values as of a different date you can quickly change the ending date to be able to see updated values for that time period. Please let us know if you have any questions.